Shalom, Shalom, Akims and Akims. This is your Hebrew Israelite brother, Meshaba, here in the city of Detroit. I'd like to give all praise and all honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us his truth. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. Now, I want to bring a, 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 a few scriptures to you today. Welcome to today's lesson on famine. Okay, today's lesson is on famine. Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this because we want many of our brothers that are still asleep to be awakened. The rest of the other hopeful elects, we want to awaken. And as well as uh, opiums, women in this truth, and women of the faith, okay, concerning this truth, okay, that follow Yahweh Shah, them too, okay, and also to, you know, bring to the awareness that many people have some, them simply forgotten all about uh, the fact that we had the, the different food shortages, uh, um, uh, interruptions into the food chain, okay, uh, 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 supply lines. You know, we had the uh, the shipping con uh, uh, containers. Remember, they had those barges, those ships out of the sea. You know, they stopped talking about them. How come? Because those captains made the decision to toss all those uh, barges over the uh, over in into the sea. There's a lot of barges out there. You know, right now floating around in the sea, and, and many of them had something, but many of them are still floating around. A ship could run into those buses is whole, wide open. You know that's out there. Plus the uh, they wanted to cut the uh, uh, the truckers. You know that was coming in from Canada. They wanted uh, the the uh, truckers wanted to uh, make a statement. You know all these different things and and that that was done to put a, a halt to the delivery of food to the supermarkets coming from the warehouses first coming from the ships to the warehouses and then from the warehouses being driven by the truckers to the uh supermarkets and different things as well as sub uh uh uh, 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 uh warehouses where the different foods are kept within the inner city okay so that way the truckers won't have to go all the way to you know a, a docking station okay so anyway anyway uh, bringing, bring, bringing, bringing all of that around to understanding what this word is about concerning famine. So I wanted to bring you to you today some scriptures concerning famine, because that's what the people, or, or what people don't realize, that's what's about to happen right now here in America. Okay, the food is being, is, is about to be choked out. A lot of people is about to experience, you know, real hunger. You know, the, the scriptures prove to us and tells us exactly the different things that happened back then as well as the things that are, uh, that are being prophesied is going to happen now. Okay. And a lot of people are just simply not aware of it and they're not paying attention. Let's get straight off into this word. Okay. Uh, uh, Salakia, if it seems that I was rambling. Okay. Okay. Uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 30. And, and this is concerning famine. And the firstborn of the poor shall feed. Okay, remember, remember Yahweh Shai being the firstborn. Okay, um, and the needy shall lie down in safety. And why? Because those that the Lord has has has, has um is, is is covering right now that are that are needy. You know, He's also providing a a, a shield of hedges around them as well. And, and especially if they are that which which would be that of the elect, okay. But the two thirds, hey, they got hell to go through, okay. And and they're not going through the fires or of, 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 of furnace of adversities, so that they may be, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, that they are in alignment with being hopeful elects. No, that they just flat out being judged, not chastised, judged. <laughs> As a different, and I will kill. Thy root with famine, okay? The root of wickedness, the root of evil, the root that, that is the stronghold of, 
or those that are out there that think of themselves as so high and mighty. They are so haughty, so mean spirited. Many of our people are trying trying to follow the same gods as as the uh, Edomites, so called whites, and the he, uh, heathen nations. Okay, and so our people, like I said, like like the, the scripture said, our people uh, go a horn to serve false gods. Okay, okay, and he shall slay them. He and he shall slay thy remnant. Okay, all this is coming. Okay, these things are coming. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 19. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorry for thee? Because the time is coming when all of the wicked shall have to pay for what they've been doing. All out here in the streets. The Bible tells us uh, uh, for you uh, wicked young men out here running around doing, doing what you're doing. Okay. Uh, uh, as well as uh, the older men. For all you men out there doing wickedly out there in the streets, in the world. For y'all, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare a slaughter for his children, for the iniquities of thy father. Your children got to pay, just like we had to pay for uh, the sins of and transgressions of our forefathers. You know, the Edomites got to pay for theirs. But also, in the same sense that on the, on the individual tip concerning uh, the two thirds. That's the reason why you hear, you know you, you hear in the news guys uh, children uh, being shot by a straight bullet, you know you know from from some game bangers or something, and uh, uh, you know or they got hit by a car or attacked you know ripped to pieces by dogs, teeth of wild beasts, because the children got to pay. Okay, the children got to pay. Okay, for thee. Desolation and destruction and the famine. During the time of the siege, during the time when it's martial law, a lot of people are going to have to see their children starve. Okay? And be hungry. And the sword. That's the so-called white man coming through. Remember, he his gift, Genesis chapter 27, verse uh, uh, 39 and 40. <coughs> it's a lot of gift. <coughs> his gift is the sword and the fatness of the earth. Okay, and we come to the understanding of that. By whom shall I comfort thee? Okay, by whom shall I comfort thee? You see, because because once the sword is laid out, that's it. That's it. Your two thirds, y'all gonna hit Zechariah chapter thirteen, uh, verse eight. The two thirds shall be cut off and die. Okay, and so the time is coming when our people it is going to go off into. Uh, uh, cannibalism. That's just simply the way it is. And the Bible makes it clear of this. Let's see. Okay. And now we're going to go to, let's see, let's go to, um, we're going to go to, let's see, we can go to, I'm thinking um, Galatians. Is it Galatians? I think it may be Galatians. Let's see. Galatians chapter 5, verse 7. Start off. Let's see what that's saying. Ye did run well. Who did hinder you? Okay. Because that also now this here this is applying to those who uh, uh, those that because uh, uh, that's the reason why Yahweh Shai is going to start in, in the sanctuary, okay? Because many of the guys is inside some of the camps, they're going to be experiencing the same thing the two thirds are going to be going through. You know what I'm saying? You know because they're two thirds, just simply wearing a fancy robe, half of a robe is that. Okay, and that's so some of those uh, cute to do camps. Okay, ye did ran ran well, and but they turned and ran ran back where to what society? They let go of the plow. They went a horn for what false gods? Ye that you that ye sh should not obey the truth, because they didn't want to obey the truth. No, they, they, they didn't want to get into it. Eight hey, these pers persuasions cometh not of him that called you. See, because they started hearing what? 
hearing the words of the wicked one. They wanted to be like the uh, the Edomites. Uh, um, uh, Proverbs chapter three, verse thirty-one. Envy not thy oppressors, and learn none of their ways, for their ways lead to death and destruction. Roughly paraphrasing, Shalaki. Verse 10, and I have com confidence in you through the Lord that ye will be none otherwise minded. You see? Because that's just something. He knows exactly what mindset you're going to have. Okay? And what he's going to allow to be uh, 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 implemented upon your mind. Okay? But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment. Okay? That is something the way that it is. Whosoever he be. Let's hit verse 11. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer? Okay? <laughs> Persecution. Okay? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. Okay? And so... Now that did now what I just got to read didn't have anything to do with not specifically for concerning famine, but I thought I'd go ahead and read it uh, anyway because you know the spirit be leading on because the spirit be doing different things and the spirit uh, uh for when you watch these videos, the spirit puts into the videos what it wants projected because more than just one particular um, mindset that the spirit is trying to give inside of the message. And we have to understand that too. You see, now we can go to uh, Deuteronomy. I want to say Deuteronomy for last. I see, because, I see. But we, we can get into it. We, we can get, get into it. So we, we know 28 and what, um, 47, say 47. Okay. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart, because our people don't, for the abundance of all things, and you know, and, and our people don't, even though the Lord yet give us give our people liberty, many of our people don't you know, don't take the liberty to repent and come on back on over to the uh, Marshak Yahweh Shai. Forty eight. Just verse 48. Deuteronomy. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Okay? We're going to be, you know, now this is pertaining to what, you know, we has uh, already experienced. But, you know, at the same time, according to the hunger, you know, we have to go to who? Esau. For all the things that he has set up in his queen for our people to be governed, okay? Because that is what the mind, that is what the uh, 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 government, the word, the word government itself, you know, govern, uh, meaning mind, uh, uh, no, govern mean control and, and, and uh, meant meaning mind. Government, mind control, okay, and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee, okay, you see, and so let's get on down here to because that's the way the way our people have become Hosea Hosea chapter four verse six. Our, our people, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, okay? And they would do what? Call upon whose name? Yahweh's name, okay? Okay? And so, that is something the way that is. Let's see, I want to get down here to... Um, no. Okay, in the way, I know that Leviticus... Hit that 26. And uh, this is where it started. Start at 1. I read it on through. This is verse 20, uh, chapter 26, Leviticus, uh, starting at verse 1. 
ye shall make you no idols, nor graven images. And that's what our people have done. We don't make, see, these are the one of the reasons why we are going to experience famine here in America and all of the uh, teeth of wild beasts and all of the different hardships and calamities and lamentations and woe that uh, the people are going to experience, especially the two-thirds, because we will always have been disobedient, serving false gods, okay, graven images. Neither rear you up a standing image as, as, as look at Rio. Rio de, de Janeiro. They got that big giant, uh, like, supposed to be a, a giant Jesus standing with his arms stretched out as people coming to the back. That thing been there for a long time. Watch when, watch when the angels get here. <laughs> watch, <laughs> watch when your house shot get here. Watch how your house shot destroy that image. He just gonna destroy it. It's completely annihilated. Okay? <laughs> this is simply what it is. Uh, neither shall ye set up any images of stone. That's what the thing is. And there were statues of the Virgin Mary sitting on people's uh, 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 in people's front yards and everything, you know, and everything. The Virgin Mary and and all these little you know crosses and everything. People got all these little false images in your land to bow down unto. And that's what people do. They bow down and pray to these these images. You go into a Christian church. Now, you know, all these Christian church, Catholic church, the Lord is not in them. And they got these graven images. And they got these stone uh, 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 stone idols, stone gods that people will, people bow down to, pray to. They do the, the, the uh, rosary bead prayer. <laughs> the whole nine yards. <laughs> For I am the Lord, your God, your Elohim. Verse 2. Ye shall keep my Sabbaths. And our people don't do that. Uh, 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 Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Uh, Yahweh uh, uh, compares our people to a dumb ox and a mule because our people do not consider the Lord. We don't consider these things. We don't consider this. Our people don't consider the Sabbath. You know, whether it be man-made or whether it be by the, uh, um, whether it be by the new moon. Okay. Is still they don't they don't bother to consider it either, okay? Whether the right hand or the left hand side, okay? And reverence my sanctuary, okay? You know when the brothers get together, okay, and come together and push this word, push this truth. When when two or, or three or more and, and gather in my name, there I shall be. That thus saith the Lord. That's a sanctuary right there, okay? If ye I am the Lord. If verse eight, if ye walk in my statutes, that means the ways of the Lord, okay, and upholding that, and keep my commandments, okay, which 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 are the laws, statutes, and commandments that was given to Moses, you know, up in the mountain, and do them. That means put forth the effort. Don't just you know, uh, 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 namby pamby, you know, fight the good fight. Okay, and keep and study the course and keep the faith. Okay, Second Corinthians chapter four, and verse uh, seven, verse four. Then I will give you rain, due season, in, in due season, and we talking about rain of the nourishment for the land, as well as the rain of the uh, uh, of uh, of the Lord's knowledge. Okay, you know. And goodness upon the people, okay, but not just the knowledge upon everybody, but the goodness, mercy upon upon people, okay, and so, you know, and so, and the land shall yield her increase. You know what I mean? Good harvest, okay, a good harvest. You know, for good, you know, for uh, for us to yield. The Lord does these things for us, okay, but the time is coming. Here it is in America where people is not going to have no no increase, none. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. The time is coming when we won't be none of that. And your dressing shall reach unto the vintage. And the vintage shall reach unto 
the sowing time, and you sh- you ye shall eat your bread to the full and dwell in your your land safely. That's when this time comes. Right now, what the people are going to be going through? Okay, let's, let's get on down here so we can uh. Okay, because. So like it. You see? <laughs> you see? Okay. Get down here. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now. Now. So. So now. One of the reasons why our people is not re- receiving the goodness of the Lord right now. Verse 12. And I will walk among you because when we are in good, proper order and decency, the Lord, Yahweh Yahshua, can be able to walk amongst us, okay, and not be causing and bringing earthquakes and tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> with that second Ezra chapter 9 because Yahweh, I mean, Yahweh visits the earth on a regular day the highest visits the earth on a regular basis and when he does he brings earthquakes to tsunamis and all these different things okay when he comes <laughs> and will be your God your Elohim and ye shall be my people okay but what happened is our people doing it nope okay then let's go on off into 13 then I am the Lord Okay, the Mashiach Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. Okay, he, he sent Moses to bring us out. Okay, that ye shall not be their bondmen. Okay, because that time is coming when all that's going to be brought forth. When the hope of the elect, as we're brought up and out of America. And from all the four corners of the world, we will be no longer under the, the, the white man's rule, his wicked law system. We will no longer be slaves. So when, when we come out of them chariot song, chapter 149, verse 5 through 9, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome at that time. Let's get into this, back into this. And I have broken the, the, the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. Okay, but... If ye will not hearken unto me and will not do all these uh, 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 commandments, this is what's going to happen. Verse 15. And it shall, and, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul, if your soul of her, my judgments, you see, because Yahweh's. Mercy is chastisement, but for the wicked, it's judgment. Or uh, Psalms, it was no Jeremiah. I think Jeremiah. Either Psalms or Jeremiah. It's like you. Verse seven and eleven uh, uh, tells us that Yahweh is uh, Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. You see, every day. Okay, so. So, so, but that ye break my command, my uh, covenant, you see, and so the Lord is going to bring forth what all these are plans. I also will do the, do, do this unto you. What? This. I will even appoint over you terror. Okay. And that's what it is. That's what's about to rain down upon the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, 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 the Edomites and the, the heathens, but the two thirds uh, uh, is the main reason, uh, 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 one of the main reasons why the whole world is going to go, got, is going to go through this because the two thirds are completely out of order. Esau, they've been following up behind Esau, and Esau is wicked. But our people, really, to be honest with you, is way more wickeder. We are some wicked ass people. Our people are wicked as hell. Oh, say in the, in the Bible it talks about how our people uh, don't even adhere to uh, 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 the laws or 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 anything of Yahweh or 
of the other nations around them. Okay, we have become have become more wicked. And he is following up behind them. Okay. So consume consumption and the burning uh uh Egg, 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 so like it. That shall consume the eyes. Ugh, hmm, so like it. And cause sorrow of heart. And ye shall sow your seed in vain. Wow. That means whatever you do. Whatever you do, whatever you do, whether you're sowing your seed within a woman that you may have children, because the Bible tells us if he has children, then they are for the slaughter. <laughs> okay, so that's in vain. And uh, if you take on another, well, okay, let, let's read on further. For your enemies shall eat it. Mm. Verse 17, and I will set my face against you and ye shall be slain before now 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 Yahweh said he would set his face set his face against against you now I will set my face against you now did this takes us to what Hosea <clears throat> Hosea chapter uh, 5 verse uh, 15 I shall return to my high place I, I shall return to my place okay high place uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing I shall return to my high place and uh, uh, until you acknowledge until they acknowledge their offenses and uh in their affliction, in their afflictions, seek my face early. No, 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 no. Salaki, Salaki. No, that's that's yeah. Hosea chapter five verse fifteen. Okay, I shall return back to my place, high place, and until they acknowledge their offenses. And seek my face, and in their afflictions they shall they shall seek me early. Okay, and then you, you go from there to Proverbs chapter one and twenty eight, and read on through 28, 29, 30, You know, and the Lord makes it clear when that time comes, when the people shall seek the face of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, then they shall not find him. They should not be able to find the faith of Yahweh, you know, you know. And as well as after that, then you go to Isaiah chapter 26, start at verse 9 and read on through. See, but that's what this is talking about. When Yahweh said, when it says, the Lord says, and I will set my face against you. That, because the Lord, he's going to, well, 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 actually, he's going to all out. Well, here he's talking about him setting his face against him. Against you. The other ones, what I was saying, were precepts. We're talking about him hiding his face. Okay. So these, this is talking more so about him putting his face against us, uh, against against our people because of what our people's uh, disobedience, rebellion. And rebellion is a form of witch, witchcraft. Okay. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you. And then, you know, some, and that's what our people don't been, been going through. You know, our people been going through uh, uh, these sort of things. And because, you know, the Lord has set his face against us because of our own disobedience. Okay. You know, and so we have to bear the indignation of the Lord because we have sinned against him. And we have to remember this and accept this and, uh, and come into understanding of this. That's the reason why he do the thing that he do. You know, we can go into the things that I don't been through, but phew, Hey, this video, hey, hey, we ain't trying to make this that long. Okay, so, so let us continue and going off into this. Okay, so, so, uh, so, so, 
and ye shall be slain before their enemies. Okay, so this this takes it to where? To Revelation chapter 5, verse 11. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Revelation chapter, yeah, 8, verse 11. And they yeah, they shall slain our people's bodies and lay, let, let them be lain, slain, left lain in the streets. Roughly paraphrasing, just like you. Okay, that, that too is also talking about and concerning uh, what? The siege or the time of martial law during the time when uh, many of our people shall be killed. They being killed now. Over and over, over and over, like there's nothing to it. You know, even the police, with, 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 with what they do, um, what did, uh, um, the Lord makes it clear in his, in the word, what, what, what he has set forth. Okay. I just had a brain freeze. I had, don't, don't you hate it when you have it on, have it on your, on the tip of your tongue, a scripture, and then, whew, you know, another one, another one, another one, and, and, and sometimes they come in that they're just rushing, you know, just rushing. Okay, so let's get back deeper into this. They that hate you shall reign, shall reign over you, and, and that's what it's, you know, that's what things are, you know. That's why other people are able to do the things that they do, and it seems like there's nothing happening to them. It seems like they, they just fine. But us, if we do something, we get judged right then and there. Or immediately. But the, the two-thirds, no. Nah. The, the heathens and the Edomites, no. Nah. You know, we get our, oh, we're going through the fires of adversities right now, the fires of adversities right now, and through the fires of purification right now, being burnt off of us, a lot of stuff, okay? And so, but for them, you know, they, they enjoying themselves until the end. That's when they all going to be going through much misery, lamentation, mourning, and, 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 and woe. You know, you know, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And that's what it's like. You know, that's what it's like for many people. Verse 18. And if ye, if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Okay. Okay. And so, remember to press the like button and the subscription button so you can continue to receive uh, notifications of the uh, uh, spirit, spiritual edifying videos that I release that you may stay edified, okay, and your spirit nourished, oh, John, okay, John chapter 6, verse 63, okay, it is the spirit that quickens the flesh. The body gain is nothing. The, the, the words that I speak to you, they are of spirit and they are of life. Okay. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua Bashim Kakadash. Okay. So let's, let's hit another one. Verse 19. And I will break the pride of your power. Okay. That's, that's the, the bringing, bringing down the strongholds of, 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 of people, of the nations, and of the peoples individually. Okay, and well, uh, particularly the two thirds. Okay, all that they uphold their job, their 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 social status, or uh, what they think they have, and uh, their uh, uh, little clout in the neighborhood, and stuff all like that, and uh, the different things that made them feel empowered. Their ride, their cell phone, their bank account, <laughs> their, like I said, their job. You know, their spouse their children, all these things, okay, okay, are a power that the Lord shall weaken and break the pride of, okay, and all the confidence that goes with it. And I will make your heaven as iron. That means really, really hard. That means really, really hard. And your earth as brass, okay. Okay, let's go to verse 20. And your strength shall be spent in vain, no matter what you do. It's like you're spinning your wheels in mud. Okay, these things will be happening to you. And these are things that are about to occur for many people. And some occurring now because of that, that uh, uh, pandemic that just uh, uh, shook everyone's ability to do this, that, or any other. You know, it's all questionable now. 
Many people, you look in their faces, they don't even see the future anymore. And the young people, they don't see no future. Because they know it's over, it's done. America is circling the drain. For your land shall not yield her increase. That's what's coming. That's what's happening. Neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. Okay? These are the things that are coming. Verse 21. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Okay. These are things that are coming upon who? The entire world. When society shuts down, 2023 is about to be that now. It's December, uh, what? It's, it, it, it's, it's December 24th right now. And so, we're about to go off into 2023. America is going to be, uh, 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 it's, going to, it's going to change rapidly and immediately. Okay, 22. I will also, so let me, let, let me sip on some of this here. Some of this coffee is on, got a little cool, but not cool, but it's don't warm down. But still, it's still palate, pal palatable for the throat. Okay, verse 22. I will also send wild beasts upon you. Teeth of wild beasts. Uh, uh, Sirach chapter 39, verse 28, verse 29, and verse 30. Okay. Okay. Which shall rob you of your children. That means coming to eat your children. You like when a, 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 a dog pit bull, Rockwell, jumps up. Especially the pit bull jumped up. And grab a baby off the couch, start ripping it in pieces, viciously, and eating the eating the eat, eating the guts, teeth of wild beasts upon the uh, uh, sick upon the children, okay, to rob you, to rob the people of their children, and destroy your cattle, okay, and cattle that can be uh, what it is, your livestock, your horse, your car. Your cars, you got lined up in your driveway and all in your backyard. <laughs> Nigga, that's your cattle. <laughs> Nigga, that's your cattle. <laughs> and make you few in numbers. Cutting you down. Cutting you down. You know, some some women, they lose, you know, their whole family in a fire. You know? And it's really sad. But these things are set forth because we must bear the indignation of the Lord, for we have sinned against him. And he is the one that makes the decision, whom he will have mercy and compassion upon. It's not up to us to decide these things. For these things, he makes these, 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 these decisions. Upon whom he will have mercy and compassion upon. Okay. Uh, 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 Romans chapter 9, verse, verse 15 through 18, I believe. Um, roughly paraphrasing. A verse. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. And number. And your highways shall be desolate. These are things that are coming. When, a time when people are not going to be able to travel on the road. Because it's going to be a shutdown. Lockdown. You know. People ain't going to be able to go there because of what, whatever terrorist attacks that are happening. That's going to you know, bring about the... the the, the shutting down of the freeways, the, the, the highways, the, the roads, because things are going to be treacherous. You travel the roads, it's going to be sniper fire. Mm -hmm. Sniper fire plus uh, 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 martial law checkpoints, as well as militia group checkpoints. Okay. Things are about to get wrong. Verse 23. And if ye will not be reformed, by me, by these things, well, hey, but will walk contrary unto me, 
Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> you see, verse 24. Then will I also walk contrary unto you. Because that's, that's what the Lord is going to do. If you walk contrary unto the Lord, he will walk contrary unto you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's you that's got to learn. Not him. Not y'all about him, y'all shy. They the one that laid out the front, the, the, the framework of everything. Remember? Second Esther, chapter 6. Yahweh, before he created anything, he first sat back and considered it all. Okay? He considered it all. You know, it's just that simple. Okay? Okay. And I walk contrary to you and will punish you yet seven times for your sins. You see? Remember, number seven is the number of completion. That means completely he will make sure. He, he, he's going to make sure that you're punished greatly. Okay? you punish. Okay? Because <clears throat> you, you're two-thirds. Even though y'all got to be, uh, 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 y'all going to come into to the truth of this knowledge after death by pain A second extra chapter 9, y'all still Israelites. And, and eventually, all Israelites are still going to be saved in in, in the kingdom. It's just that y'all got to come in through us hopeful elects, hopeful, hopeful elects, loins as our children. Okay. Verse, 20, verse 25. And I will bring a sword upon you that shall advance the squirrel, the, the squirrel, the squirrel of my covenant. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you. You see? Gather together. And, and, and what? Now, right now, they, they about to have what? Christmas. 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 They, they about to, they, they, they think that they about to have hell. They think they about to have themselves. A very merry little Christmas. But check this out. <laughs> then the Grinch showed up. And then he burned down all the Christmas trees to hell. <laughs> that was about to happen. <laughs> that was about to happen. <laughs> the Grinch don't show up on the ass. You see? That's why that that one thing I do like I like the the uh, the movie The Grinch with uh with uh 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 um what's his name um dang look see there you go brain freeze uh uh, uh Jim Carrey okay because <laughs> with that part I just love that part <laughs> when the Grinch goes over and just he, he he gets that old dudes that old the old uh Smurfs uh uh. uh who know who? That old who's a uh, 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 bottle of uh, old whiskey. His, his his best his best brew. You see? He had three X's on it on the bottle. <laughs> he had three X's, <coughs> and, and and the Grinch took a swig of that, and then and and, and took a, a a match or something and blew fire all over the uh the Christmas tree. Right there in Whoville. And, and 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 the Christmas tree burnt up, burnt all the way up, and all the presents, all that demonic ass, uh, ass bull crap, a, a celebration of the uh, uh, rebirth of Nimrod, all that burnt up, and and, and their little uh, star came crashing down to the ground. That's what it's going to be like for uh, 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 America and the rest of the world. Okay, fire shall consume thee. Okay, because all these ways are wicked, celebrating all these the, uh, all these wicked holidays that the people are celebrating, and they think it's okay, and they, they and they think and what's re what's really sad, our childhood memories involve these things uh, where, where where we sit around and we we gather with the family around the Christmas tree. We help decorate the, the Christmas tree. We help put them together. We help put together the the uh, uh Christmas cards. And sprayed the little uh, uh, Christmas mist on the windows and stuff, pine mist and stuff, you know, with the pine smell, you know, on an artificial tree and candles and stuff. We decked it with silver and, and, and all these things, you know what I'm saying? 
We did all these things. These things are are improper to do. See, listen. I want to go to uh uh. Let's see. What is this? Where did we go? We're on twenty five. I want to see. Uh, let's go to Jeremiah right quick. Okay, cause we, we want to bring it out that uh, the Lord makes it clear all this here that the people is doing uh for uh the the Christmas holidays is is improper. Okay. It's improper for them to be doing. Because these are things okay, this is uh, these are things that they are not supposed to be doing. Because you're not supposed to be taking no uh get no tree from outside, you know. Hold on. Did, did I just hold on, let's just say it over there. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to get the part where now this is talking about the chariots coming because <laughs> they are they, they are coming they they are coming the chariots are coming okay and uh, I don't know I'm gonna go to try this again uh what I said what is it I'm gonna try it. Uh, like it, y'all. Yeah, this is right here. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse uh, verse 4. Now, now, this is talking about going out uh, into the fields and gathering, uh, uh, cutting down a, 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 a tree and doing all these di different things that you're not supposed to be doing, okay, concerning uh, these holidays, concerning this Christmas deal and all this, this mess. Okay, and that the people is doing. Verse three, for the customs of the people are vain. You see, they're vain. The people here it's December twenty fourth. What is the year twenty fourth right now? All right, and the people get themselves already get geeked up, geared up, and they gonna they got it on their mind. They gonna go do their Christmas thing. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They think they about to have themselves a very merry little Christmas. You see, that's what they're thinking. You see, but it's going to be like that. No. No. Because this is the last Christmas that America is going to have. This 2022 Christmas. Okay. That 2022 catch. Christmas catch. Okay. You see. It's all in vain. All this they they celebration of these holidays. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. <clears throat> okay? And that's what they do. The so called white man and him and his deforesting, cutting down trees, and when it comes down to the Christmas holiday uh, uh holiday times, they cut down a whole lot of pines and you know, everglades and all these different uh, 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 uh Christmas trees, you know. You know. And they're not going to be doing that. For real. The work of the hands of the workmen. Okay. To do these things with an axe. They're going to cut the, uh, the trees down. And verse uh, 4. They deck it with silver and with gold. And that's what people do. We used to do that. I used to do that too back when I was, uh, I was a child. We, we used to uh, 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 decorate the trees. I used to love it all the time. Uh, we had to, uh, you know, all, we had to see, look, li listen, we had brought from down south with us, okay, back in 1969, we brought up here to Detroit with us the old Christmas tree that was in the box. You pull it out the box, right? We used to keep it in the attic. Every Christmas, bring it out. Go get the box. Go get the box. Go get the box. You get the box and pull out the Christmas tree. You pull out the box and you got the stand. You put the stand you, you, and, and you put the wooden peg, the wooden stick, a green wooden stick right in the middle. And then you 
screw the screws at the bottom, you know, so it the stick will stand strong and sturdy. And then you you, you got your little your, your metal uh, uh 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 branches with with the little pines on them, okay, twisted in them. And these were your branches. You put them inside the little the little slots, the little holes in the uh uh the Christmas tree stick. <laughs> And you keep doing this until before you know it, you keep doing it all the way up to the top. And you put the top on, you got your Christmas tree. Artificial Christmas tree. We just bring this artificial Christmas tree out every year. Bring it out the attic. Bring it out the get, get the box. Get the box. Get the box. And, and we, it would have all types of <clears throat> um, uh, uh, um, ornaments and different things and other different boxes and and tassels and 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 all the many different christmas cards from from christmas's back you know the families don't sent us and all this and that all these things we used to have bowls and big bowls and candies and stuff wine candies and 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 other christmas candies and peppermints and all these things my mama used to cook uh uh two or three different cakes Layers a coconut, chocolate, and a white cake, or, or and a yellow cake. Okay, a yellow cake might be squared. Okay, and single layer, and plus some pies, pumpkin pie, and and uh 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 um uh, uh the other kind of pie, uh pump, is the pumpkin pie, yeah, uh, uh the other type 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 of doggone pie, and the cranberry sauce there. The cranberry sauce had the, the greens and the collard greens, the turnip greens, and had the uh, the uh, the uh, what the uh, the uh, mashed potatoes. No, no, but the mashed potatoes. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah mashed potatoes as well as some uh, some uh, uh, macaroni and cheese with some candy yams and uh, some cornbread. You want to eat your cornbread? You want to eat my cornbread and and have let's see what what else. You know, and and oh, and some uh uh maybe some ham hocks up in them greens, and uh and some, uh, uh uh you know the turkey, you know especially if it was left in some too that was left over or from Thanksgiving, you know if we ain't ate it on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all that stuff, we went through all that, all that's part of our memories is what I'm trying to say. A wickedness that we remember as goodness. But it was wicked unto the Almighty Father Yahweh. That's the reason why we bear the indignations of the Lord, because we have sinned against Him. We've been living the ways of the so-called white man, the wicked one, and that's been wickedness, and that's wrong. What we've been doing. That's the reason why we take the time to right ourselves now, and we come into understanding of these things. That's the reason why we make these videos, so y'all can come into understanding of these things, and we can wake up together. Okay. And learn this truth. Push this truth. Okay. For the, for the whole for the next. <clears throat> okay. Um, verse 4. Yeah. They deck, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Okay. Tightening it down. Okay. 5. Verse 5. They are upright as the pine trees. You see? And that's the reason why now is, you know, once you you, you uh, get it standing just right and you don't prop it just right, you nailed it and, and screwed it and whatever you got to do, now it's standing up tall like a pine tree. It looks like a, a pine tree now, you know. And plus you got all your little, your, your tassels, gold and silver on there, you know. It's all decorated and all that. That's all wickedness. But speak not. They must, they must needs be born. Because they cannot go, but not afraid of them. No, be not afraid of them. For they cannot do evil. Okay? See, because when you, when you put together some mess like that, that's like putting together a God. You putting together, you know, you know because it's, a, it's an image. It's a false image. And it's a wicked image. You're taking a tree. And you popping it up in your house. And you decorating it, whether it's an artificial tree or a real tree. It doesn't matter. The, the fact of the matter is, it, it, it matters to a certain extent. 
uh, uh, but the fact of the matter is, you're making an image, a graven image, and it, what a lot of people don't realize that the Christmas tree with the Christmas, the Christmas tree with the Christmas present up underneath represents that is symbolic for the uh, celebration of the rebirth of Nimrod. When you go out, you, you, you cut a tree down, you bring it in your house, you prop it up, you fixate it up, and then you de you decorate it with uh, uh, silver and gold, uh, tassels and different things, and ornaments, and then you put a, cre a, a, a presents up under it. That's the celebration of Nimrod. A lot of our people don't know this, don't realize this, but that's what they're doing. They done made, done made a graven image and got it sitting inside their house. That's the reason why the thing burns up in a lot of people's houses, their Christmas trees. You see, that's the reason why the Lord has set forth for that mess to burn down. Because it's wicked. It's wickedness. It's wickedness. Okay? Okay. You see, so let, let's read it again. Okay? Okay? They are upright as the palm tree. It's sitting upright like a palm tree. Nice and good. But, nice and wicked. But speak not. You see that? But speak not. It speaks not. Even though, even though they don't did what? They don't they they they, they don't fasten it. Uh uh they don't they don't decked it with silver and with gold. They fastened it with nails and with hammers, and that it moved not. Okay, they made it sturdy, and they they are upright as the palm tree. Okay, this is a god, this is a, a, a false image, an idol that has been made. A tree with, 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 with gold and 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 and, and silver decked on it, and it, it being propped up. That's an idol. That's an image, a false image of wickedness. You know, and they are upright as the palm tree. Okay, but speak not. It speaks not. It's a false idol. It, it, it's a false god. It's an image. It's like it, it, it's like a, a a statue of the Virgin Mary, or the, the Queen Mary, whatever they be saying. It, 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 it is a false god. It speaks not. It, it, it hears not. It sees not. It feels not. It speaks. It says nothing. It speaks not. Okay? It speaks not. They must needs be born. Okay? What is that talking about? They're talking about the rebirth of Nimrod. That's what they're talking about. They must needs be born because they cannot go you see? you see? You see? Be not afraid of them. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of that false image. But don't have it nowhere near you. Don't have it in you. Don't be celebrating these 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 rebirths of, of them, right? Don't be celebrating these false uh, 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 fake, phony celebrations of wickedness. Okay? Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil. They can do no either ne uh, evil, neither also is it in them to do good. It's just a propped up image sitting up there worshiping uh, 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 the rebirth of Nimrod. It is not It is not of goodness. Okay? And so, but people got that sitting up there. Okay? For, for as much as there is none like unto the D, okay? Okay, for as much as, okay, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. You know what I'm saying? Now we get into praising who? Yahweh by Shem Shah. Because that's what it's about. It's not about all these false gods, all this wickedness. It's not about all that. Okay, it's about who? Yahweh by Shem Shah, by Shem Kapadash. There is none like unto thee, O Lord. Thou art great. Okay? You see what I'm saying? That's who you worship. Yahweh Hashem Yahushat. Not no phony image. Not no Christmas tree. You know, something decked out with gold and silver. Not that. It's a graven image. It's a false image. It's a rebirth of Nimrod. That's what it's symbolic of. You don't, you, you, you don't celebrate that. Instead, for as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord. You celebrate Yahweh Hashem Yahushat. That's who you celebrate. And the, and the white man tried to switch it up and pick what a baby manger, with, with, with a, a white baby in a manger, with, 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 you know, the nativity scene. 
That's what that whole nativity scene is about. That's wickedness. That's wickedness. That you may understand it. Thou art great, O Lord. That's who you're supposed to be, be celebrating, worshiping, reverencing. Yahweh Hashem Yahushak. And not the celebration of Nimrod. Okay. And the and thy name is great in might. You see? Because it's the name of the Lord that we reverence. Okay? You see? That's what it's about. Okay? Verse 7. Who would not fear thee, O Lord, O King of nations? You see? You see? Who would not fear thee? Sirach chapter 16, verse 11. For the Lord shall threaten, and who should be but beaten down to powder in his presence? Yahweh by Shem Yahushua by Shem Okay. Okay. And so, so we're going to close this out after this. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, uh, O king of nations. For to thee doeth it apparent, apartin, for as much as among all the wise men of the nations, and in all their kingdoms, there is none like unto thee. Okay? And we're going to uh, 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 cut it off right there. Uh, we thank you for watching the video. Uh, uh, remember to press the like and, and the subscription uh, button so you can again continue receiving spiritual edifications from the uh, spiritual edifying videos that I put out. And <clears throat> we'd like, we like to give all praises and all honor to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Rekakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. And uh, peace and salutations to uh, the hopeful elects. And shalom.